I tell you, the reason there are so many binary stars in this sector is because of the local high density of interstellar dark matter. Really? Because of dark matter? It must be. Chief Engineer Scott thinks that's probably the reason. And if it weren't for Commander Scott's expertise during our last encounter with the Romulans, we wouldn't be here. Well, I guess you're correct. I, of course, overheard your remarks. Yes, sir? The argument you are employing, Chief Sulu, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of argumentum ad vericundium, also known as appeal to authority. His argument seems to make sense. That may be so, Navigator, but the form of the argument is invalid. It employs the fallacy of appealing to the testimony of an authority outside his special field. This is not a convincing argument because the expert, Mr. Scott, while an expert engineer, is not an expert on astrophysics, and thus his views about the prevalence of binary stars is only one person's opinion. Your argument, Mr. Sulu, commits this fallacy and is therefore invalid. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as argumentum ad vericundium, the appeal to authority. It's only logical. Return to your duties. <laughs>